So yet another shadow pudding stream. Uh, let me know if the sound is good. I don't really know what I will do today. Hi Flopin, how are you? Yeah, the, the tunnel is so great. I don't know how okay. oh, I can couldn't prove on that. I'm well. Do you have an idea of what I could do tonight? I was thinking maybe uh, some kind of city. Hi Gecko, how are you? Long time no see. Hey Luna. So yeah, maybe some kind of city. With lights. That draw some things. Wow. <laughs> that sounds really hard. But anyway, let's start and we will see. So as always, I start by putting the two really useful functions, by and time. Pixel art button window. We could do some kind of volumetric on window. That could be great. We'll see. So let's try adding a box function as a change. No, that's not it. Well, your ID seems uh, really interesting, but I'm not sure how to do it. We will see. So we have the new Alkama version with uh, indentation and everything. It's pretty disturbing, to be honest. So the classical remarching loop, 
is uh, normal competition. As I always, pretty much always do. Let's make a light. Boom, a box. No, I want to make it rotate. about how to do that. Let's make uh, a window. Petition like for the building. Let's try that away. Let's make the distance.
let's make uh, let's make like a 2D noise function. Yeah. There should have uh, uh, like a noise function. I should be able to use like something like that. Make a mask. Let's say I would uh, use. To have several colors, maybe my nose function is not great for that. Let's try making it a bit better.
Okay. So now I have a colored thing. And I can like um, make it a bit more vibrant. that I do that it's planning hi Bachas Yeah, what I can do is uh, to sample Yeah, I'm French, uh, but just are you as well? Thank you, Bachas. Do you also do some cheddars? So now what I need is to have some kind of uh, volumetric thing. So to do that, I will do another loop. Steps or maybe less. Let's try 50. Uh, so I will pre compute how many times I need to advance at each step. So this will be uh, like 
max distance max distance debate max distance divided by the number of steps and so that just multiplied by r and now i can do my loop yeah that's uh, like uh, how you say it pixel art in a, in a window Cutting, I don't know why. Well, we everyone has something to learn, and I'm not always uh, good at it either. So So each time we go to the loop, we will add uh, to the position, we will add the right, right step, we will take uh, the value which is window, it's the position, oh it's window with uh, step could be viable but I don't think it's working that well to make some kind of volumetric uh, window like if it was some kind of uh, uh, yeah the light would pass through the ray we'll see uh, how it goes yeah That is not working.
Yeah, so it's mostly flopping that gave us the ID. Let's see if it was a good one or not. So the fading will be probably I could do the fading and say volume. Let's do it here. So now what I need is some noise because it's very not great like that. Let's try a noise. So it's the, the weird music is back. Let's make the camera move. Camera, camera. All the way there. Thank you. 
maybe. Uh, yeah, I scale the noise by the step distance, which is uh, what is supposed to be. If I do less, it shows. That's not great. I should uh, probably. It kind of depends on the distance of the camera. If I do that, I have something a lot better. kind of uh, playlist of music that are not copyrighted and there is some weird uh, thing oh yeah I know yeah I add the value before the check I think that's Maybe it doesn't show change anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the camera motion is too strong. You're right. Yeah, you see there, I don't have enough. Now I can add the animated thing inside. Oh, 
no inside the moving or no maybe inside there I can do things like Elkana, how are you?
I should probably color the, the background with something. But I'm not sure what. Like I could uh, color here. Something like that. It's not severe violence. Let's try something. Light. I should maybe make the light come from the center, so that would be just Sixteen I'll be better even. So now what I wanted to test, but I think it will not be that great, is to repeat the space, but the issue is that the volumetric stuff only works for uh, a little distance in front of the camera. So if I make it uh, repeat, it will be sound, soon it will be out of reach. I could also try to make the ray not parallel. Not yet. Yeah. Here they are all parallel to the plane. Perpendicular to the plane, sorry. To do that, I'm not sure how I would do that. To be here.
Yeah, because the mask is here. I want the mask to be here, maybe. Yeah, it's a dissering and uh, I also do like some kind of uh, average to light the background. Yeah, I, I just find it interesting here, but... Really noisy, but just to test. Yeah, there's a lot of things that I don't really get, but it's interesting. I have seen, I have seen that shadow, the attic. I don't really remember though. There's a lot of glitches when uh, that is so maybe negative. Would be I think it was uh, more calm, like... Uh can add uh, other things like for example if I don't put the mask
That's nice, I cannot to say. Things that would be possible also would be to uh, have a reflection, maybe. possible definitely uh, but then I would have to like turn the camera to see the other side or I could put like try to project it uh, downward or something could just have the, the wall be like a reflection maybe that could be cool I just want to finish my little uh, projector or something
Okay, I have something. Well, I, I will see that. So here, what I'm thinking is to do a max, no, a min, but with a minus here. So there, I can have like that. And here, I like. the mask should be separate so I can make the interior of the screen black so the mask is here You don't like the sound, Alkama? Oh, thank you, Avil. I like that demo quite a lot. So yeah, reflection. I don't have uh, fast tracing. But uh, it's all just like one one light. So let's try having a reflection just to see how uh, it would go. The thing is, I will not be able to have the volumetric in the reflection, so maybe that's not a great idea. And also, maybe. I don't know if I clicked. The output of the volume? Yeah, I, I do it. Right. Yeah, I clamped it. 
Hi Jeff, Jeffy, Jeffel, how are you? <laughs> yeah, I can try that. I wanted to try with reflection. Maybe it works. Uh, we'll test it. It can be quite slow though. I can do it before, like here, yeah, that doesn't change, uh, yeah, and then, let's try putting in it. anymore that's weird because why, why? ah because the right direction is changed so some kind of reflection and we do uh, oh yeah and the distance is not okay
try to think. Just do something terrible. Yeah, so there is no reflection of the volumetric things. Not sure how you would do that. I mean, I could... Uh, anyway, I wanted to try like here. That is a funnel. So I had a trouble because I only what I do is to uh, the body is uh, like the distance to the surface. So when the break is happening, you have the distance to the closest uh, intersection. And I was using that to stop uh, my second uh, marching that is used for the uh, volumetric stuff, but. As I was uh, not breaking, but continuing to reflect things, my uh, double G was not anymore, uh, was not doing the, not giving me the distance to the first intersection, but the distance to like every intersection, the same. Uh, so I did a horrible thing with the bull just to. Uh, the first time I have a break, I have a collision, I uh, put the double G in a separate value. It's it's not great. But. My mask does not use my things and that's not great. Yeah.
I was wondering why, even if I change the rays, like the the volumetric is always uh, perpendicular to the wall, but in fact I do the weird uh, change here and not on the mask, so the mask is still uh, square. Thank you, Alkama. I think I should maybe add a variation on the effects. Yeah. Good. I have the indentation uh, uh, version and it's very disturbing the first time you take it because I like my uh, my finger I always on the tab uh, things to compensate for that and now I don't need to so I always do like that and start typing but yeah so a bit of getting used to so for for evil yeah Alka. so uh, the second so you have a first yeah that's the first one okay you can put in there very matching still to get first Collision. And here is the second. Listen to the music moving through the crowd. So this is the second way marching, but with a fixed step size. So you can uh, decide how many steps you have. Um, uh, the max distance. So here I can uh, go up to 40 units and I have uh, 50 steps so that gives me uh, like the step size and from the step size uh, I can have uh, like uh, ray size which is just uh, ray direction multiplied by the step and the important thing is to start, like the starting position here is the starting position of the camera plus a little random uh, things like the step size multiplied by a random value between 0 and 1 that is different for every pixel uh, in the direction of the ray of course yes I could probably do that yeah anyway and after that, you just do like the, the loop, and you will uh, accumulate your function uh, according to the position. So that's here, like that. Take uh, position in space and give the color uh, of the position. So here, like I have a mask that's uh, limited to the square, the central square. And I have, uh, like here, uh, some kind of noise pattern and everything. Anyway. And so you just add that 
to a value uh, and each time you step you go one step further so the ray uh, ray direction multiplied by the step size and now the important thing is to stop when you are um, when the distance is bigger than the first intersection so that's the weird thing I was going uh, on top to get the first intersection that's uh, the main purpose of the first uh, ray marching is to get that first intersection and so if I uh, am going too far I just break so that's it And uh, yeah, I have also uh, like uh, fade that uh, yeah, that's to get the like uh, having the volumetric more intense uh, near the plane and uh, less uh, farther the, from the plane. So that just like uh, distance to the plane on the z axis that I uh, like divide uh, to get like 20 units. Hi, ping live. Or should I say Difty? Yeah, fall off. like the volumetric clouds in theory you can yeah you should be able to uh, just you would have like here I don't have it, but you could have like um, uh, an alpha value and uh, in the loop, if you go through... Uh, I could try to put like smoke, or maybe not, but yeah, you would uh, just change the... Yeah, I think it should work. Hey Flopin, so you see I followed your ID and it was I think a good ID. Uh, well, I in the volumetric uh, clouds you would break if your alpha uh, is too low. And here you would break if you go like this is a death death break like if you go further uh, than the first opaque surface but that's the same for uh, your cloud I think you also had a, a death limit and I think uh, yeah if the alpha is too small then uh, nothing the volumetric uh, the so I think it would work. A cloud floor. Oh, I could make like. Uh, Uh, 
I could put uh, like uh, things on the ground if I want to. could try like oh, I didn't keep my noise let's try making a noise function a 3d noise function I think it would be maybe too Maybe it will be too heavy. Let's let's try anyway. So there I will have only one. That. have a 3 9 Hello Div Team So let's try that Okay so the nose code is working so now I would have like an alpha like that starts at 1 remember the cloud thing but so yeah I would have
Okay, so we have some kind of cloud. It's a bit weird, but why not? Yeah, it's in the same loop. I don't think I'm doing the correct things here. Um, so each time I multiply by some cloud value, that is the alpha function. Oh, I think I should do maybe something like that. Kind of the same. Sometimes I don't really know how to make things right, so using techniques is a bit easier for me. It's a bit weird though. If I don't apply it on the background. Yeah, 
Yes, yeah, see you, um, evil. Hi, my triangle. And thanks, you, Difty. No, I want to tell you. I wanted to do something, but I don't remember what. to animate the power to see how it would do
think I want to change the projector on this side, maybe. I could do that. Maybe there. Very little music. I try, but uh, like for um, I, I do a lot of Ludendare and stuff, and I try to do music for that. But it's not very great in general. Project on the side are uh, single color, and I prefer that.
So there I want to try to make some part of the of the ground not uh, not reflective. Hi William, uh, thank you for the red. First time I get a I get a red. How are you? Did you have a great uh, stream? Finishing the game, great. Uh, so I started to make this shader at 21, and now it's uh, 23. So two two hours. Uh, so I had I have a mask that is. Uh, Masking, yeah. So I will only do that.
Yeah, it's a bit like that. Maybe it's not a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. With Yeah, I could, could like make put eighties uh, pattern on the wall. So yeah, it's kind of a special um, method of rendering. It's not a method that is usually used in uh, like video games and everything. It's uh, more uh, used in uh, demo scene, and it's called uh, ray marching. It's uh, what's used on a website like uh, Shadow Toy. And uh, uh, the language used here is uh, GLSL, so it's uh, about the same as uh, WebGL and, uh, or HLSL. And the whole program is here, and I um, made it in uh, two hours. So it's a technique that is uh, suited to make things quickly. Uh, the software I used here is uh, Bonzomatic. You can find it in uh, uh, in GitHub, and so it's just uh, like a pixel shader uh, on the whole screen, and you have a function, and you can like do 2D things or 3D things with ray matching. Yeah, it's GLSL.
sorry for the music, I don't know why it's cutting like that. Better now. Yeah, Fragment Shader. Sorry, I call it Pixel Shader, but this is uh, the style. It's not like that. It's uh, what you call that in HLSL. In HLSL, it's called Fragment Shader. Yeah, yeah it's pretty much uh, like the in the syntax. the motion of the camera so I think I will stop there if you have any question let me know the red uh, or oh, I did once but I don't see uh, anyone doing like cut the uh, things or yeah it took uh, two hours to do that's the really good thing with this uh, uh, method, it's very fast. So everything is made of, uh, of like primitive, so there is a, like cubes for the, uh, for the walls and the borders and cylinder for the projector. 
and uh, there is like noise function you can you can make uh, if you are interested um, uh, I do this stream every week and I put my VOD uh, on my uh, YouTube and uh, they are also on uh, on Twitch so you can check out there is like 10 videos so anyway uh, thank you for coming uh, to the stream uh, it was uh, very nice I didn't know what to do at first but it turned out pretty good I think yeah thank you and have a great evening oh there is uh, other people that do this kind of stream streams uh, there is Flopin that you can see in the chat uh, she is doing uh, on uh, uh, in a three week I think there is uh, Evil tomorrow and uh, Luna on Wednesday Yes, Thursday, sorry. Ah, so no stream uh, Thursday. Oh, there is a Shadow Showdown at Laval, I think. Um, I suppose it will not be streamed, but uh, if it is, that could be great. Ah, so, so sad. But yeah. We will have fun at Laval. Anyway, have a nice uh, evening. Bye!